So if you're already getting sick of talking about death, or reading about death, or watching about death, and writing about death, uh, then uh, I sympathize with you. Around week three of, of course, on the philosophy of death, uh, you've got to ask yourself, if you haven't asked yourself already, why the heck am I doing this to myself? Um, you know, imagine teaching it semester after semester. It's not, not easy in that respect. So all, all I had to say at this point is, you know, you signed up for it. I didn't, I didn't force you to take this class. Uh, death. Uh, we have looked in the first two weeks at the Epic, Epicurus and uh, Thomas Nagel and, uh, you know, I really asked the question, is death a bad thing? And Epicurus says no, because it's nothing. Uh, Nagel says yes, because it deprives us of the goods of life. You know, uh, this week with Hans Jonas, uh, who is a great philosopher, one of my favorite contemporary philosophers, he kind of continues in the same uh, vein that is asking about the, but in, in a wider way. You know, he's really asking about what is the, the, you know, mortality is a fundamental fact of human life. We are mortals. In fact, he says in the beginning, um, you know, in, in the Greek language, uh, mortal and human being were really the same thing. I mean, human beings referred to themselves as mortals, that is, uh, in, in distinction from the gods who are immortal. You know, how do we think of ourselves? Well, we think of ourselves as mortal creatures, that is, as temporary beings, beings who will die. What is the meaning? What is the fundamental meaning of mortality in being alive, and being a human being? How, it is a fundamental fact that we have to deal with. We are mortals, mere mortals. Um, how do we make sense of that fact? Certainly the first two weeks have, have been about that general question, asking whether we should regard our inevitable death as a bad thing or not. I think, it, yes, Jonas widens the picture considerably. Uh, really asking the same basic question, yes, uh, is, is death a a good or bad thing, except that the way that he puts it is, 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 is death a, a burden, or is mortality, that is, our mortal nature, the fact that we will die, that we can die. Is it a burden, some a heavy load that we carry, or is it a blessing? Is it a good thing? Of course, he means to say that it's both. And, and the, the, the key in this very you know, wonderful essay, I would say, which, which touches on so many topics in, in seven or eight pages. The key is to see how he arranges things so that it's possible to think of mortality as both a burden, this almost tragic heaviness that we carry uh, all our lives, and also as a blessing, as a good thing, and, and, and uh, something that we wouldn't want to be any other way, considering what we are. So the key is to see how he can conceptualize things so that the same thing, mortality, can be seen both as a burden and a blessing. I, I would say the first page, page 34, uh, in the first column, I think it's the third paragraph, he says, two meanings merge in the term mortal, that the creature so-called can die is exposed to the constant possibility of death, and that eventually it must die, is destined for the ultimate necessity of death. So on the one hand, uh, we are the kind of creatures that can die, meaning we are exposed to death at every moment, in the sense we could die if things went wrong, biologically, at any moment. And also that we, we will die, we must die, that, that death is, is, is the fate of, of us all. We keep that distinction in mind, that the can die on the one hand, and the will or must die on the other, we get the distinction he's making, and that will eventually lead to the burden and the blessing. He continues, in the continual possibility, I place the burden. In the ultimate necessity, I place the blessing of mortality. So, yeah, the key to understanding the burden and blessing mortality is to see, on the one hand, that the burden has to do with the can die, the constant, ever-present possibility of death, the blessing for Jonas, and we'll, we'll talk about whether we agree with this, 
the blessing part of it is the will die, the ultimate necessity of inevitability of death. So uh, that's just a brief introduction, and, and we'll have a video, uh, or I plan to do a video where uh, we talk about the burden, which is actually really complex, uh, his idea of the burden, and then his idea of the blessing.